So we tried this yesterday with images saved from paint. I'm going to try now to see what happens when we record the sound and see what the overhead is. So see how the actual file size compares with what we've calculated. So because it's a little bit difficult to make a recording of exactly the right length, I'm going to do the recording first and then see how long it is and then we'll do the calculation and then we'll have a look at the file. So I've got Audacity here and to make it easier I've um, selected mono because actually GCSE questions seem to ignore the fact that most music files are stereo and uh, 44,100 is the standard CD sampling rate but let's take change that to 48,000 uh, just a slightly rounder number. So I think we're ready to go so I'm just going to record something simple so I'm just going to say testing one two three this is a recording in audacity so we can see here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click the end button and we can see at the bottom that is 5.040 seconds at 48,000 kilohertz and it says by default it records at 32-bit uh, um, sample size but when we save that um, the standard um, bit depth is 16 so we have to export so i'm going to export that as a wav I'm going to pop it in the uh, same folder as we did yesterday. So I'm going to save it as a 16-bit PCM file, uh, which is a 16-bit um, bit depth, and it'll it'll save it at the same frequency that I recorded it at. Okay, so that's um, that's done. It's asking me about metadata, so I'm not going to put any in because GCSE questions never mention metadata in file size calculation questions. Um, that's not going to add a huge amount to that anyway, is it? it's just the length of the text, so a few bytes for the name of the track. Okay, so let's go to the calculation. So we've got 48,000, so it's 5.04 seconds. So the calculation is, it's the sample rate. In this case, it's um, 48,000. Times the duration, which was 5.040. times the number of bits per sample and I saved it at 16-bit um, uh, bit depth so that's two bytes per sample so if we get the calculator up and we do 48,000 times 5.404 uh, uh, and you can see now why I recorded the sound first because it would be very difficult to record a, a sound of exactly five seconds for example and then I'm going to multiply that by two so I'm going to expect my file to ha have a size of 483,840 bytes. So let's have a look. Do we need our 10% um, overhead for this one? So I've got the file here. So that's the size we're expecting. So we right click, properties, and it is 483,800 84 so it's 44 bytes bigger than we calculated so 44 bytes for the metadata again certainly not uh, the 10% that some people say